The movie Oppenheimer was released in theaters across the country today. The film tells the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, known as the father of the atomic bomb, he was a giant figure in the Manhattan Project, the undertaking that would produce the world's first nuclear weapons. The movie tackles many aspects of J. Robert Oppenheimer's life, including the time spent in Los Alamos, New Mexico, designing the world's first atomic bomb. Los Alamos was one of three sites for the Manhattan Project. There was also Hanford, Washington. This is where plutonium was produced. Also, what is now known as Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This is a photo of Robert Oppenheimer in Oak Ridge. East Tennessee is where uranium was enriched for the first atomic bombs. I didn't ever hear, hear the word uranium mentioned. Back in 2016, I talked to Bob Bogild and his wife, Madge Elizabeth, in Marion County. They met working in Oak Ridge in the 1940s. I had a very sensitive job. I was inspecting all of the instrumentation and all the piping and all the instruments that were installed there to record the process of making the, the uranium. The Bogills have passed away since we reported that story. This book, The Girls of Atomic City, is a fascinating telling of what happened in Oak Ridge from 1942 to 1945. You know what we were doing, making the atomic bomb. The woman here on the cover in that floral printed dress, that is Alpha Combs. Alpha just turned 100 years old earlier this month. This is another photo of Alpha from that book. That ended the World War. Yeah, I helped do it. There are connections to the first atomic bombs all through our area, such as service members on the USS Indianapolis. The sinking of that ship has been called the worst naval disaster in U.S. history. Before the ship was hit by Japanese torpedoes, the Indianapolis delivered the components of the first atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. On the ship, five men from Marion County and K.O. Irwin, who survived the sinking but passed away, in 2018. Carried them to Tinian and dropped them off there. When the atomic bombs were dropped, Navy veteran R.C. Grant was on board the USS Rixey headed toward Japan. You'd shoot ammunition, tracer bullets and things like that, but you just, you couldn't imagine a bomb that would destroy a whole city. The Rixey was docked in Okinawa when Japan surrendered. The Japanese people how they would uh, bow to you, and they completely surrendered. That, that amazed me, you know. So, if you go see the movie, keep in mind, some of your neighbors lived part of the Oppenheimer story. <laughs>